Did you know that today the average cost of a public college education is more than $18,000 a year? And for a private college, get ready, $41,000 a year. Oof. Well, thankfully, September happens to be College Savings Month. I love to save, so it's the perfect time to chat with certified financial planner Mary Ryan from Vanguard, one of the largest and most respected investment companies on the planet, so I'm sure she has some fabulous insights for us. Good morning. Good morning, Olga. You've been doing this for a pretty long time. You yeah. love it. Lots I, of challenges. I have. I've been in the financial planning business for over 20 years, Woo. and I, I love it because I work with my clients as partners. We set their goals, and we do everything we can to achieve those goals, and when they do, that is very satisfying. And doing the goals and you know financial goals, every Everybody has them. Where does uh, saving for a college fund rank in terms of someone's life? Well, everybody's different, obviously. Okay. But you know, for for people that have children and families that have children, you, the U.S. Department of Labor had some very interesting stats. So when you look at that, you have to understand that having a college degree, unemployment tends to be less. Um, earnings tend to be higher, so I'd like to say, yeah, I think it's very important on the ranking. When I got pregnant, it was the first thing on my mind. Well, I wanted a girl, I wanted her <laughs> to be healthy, and I thought of her college. Those were the three things, and I, so far, so good. There you go. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. A lot of people say, you know, it's important to put some money aside. Today's economy, you know, Mary, everybody's watching every cent. How do they get over that hump and that fear of putting something away? Well, as you said at the beginning, Olga, the cost of education can be so overwhelming. Amazing. It is so overwhelming. And I tell people, take a step back. Don't get overwhelmed. Do what you can. Look at your budget. See what you can figure out. Mm -hmm. But as long as you have a plan, you have a goal, stick with it, be disciplined, but do what you can. Don't get overwhelmed, because don't forget, every dollar you save is a dollar you don't have to borrow. So you want to make sure you're doing that. And, and when do you start saving for that college savings plan? Never too early. Really? Never not too not early. when you hear you're pregnant. No. So you, people can start before they even start having children. Put it in your name, and then as the children arrive, you can move it to their name and start saving that way. And what that does, Olga, is it gives the power of compounding the power to work for you. And that's really important. What kind of education savings plans are out there? I mean, there's just so many, and sometimes it can be quite intimidating. It too. is, and there's so many that are out there. You have plans such as um, people use bank accounts, savings accounts, um, you know, savings bonds, um, investment accounts. What we do you found, like? Yeah, we have found though, in working with our clients that are college savers, 529 plans really, really are wonderful. They offer a wide variety of benefits. For example, you know, you can look at it and get some tax benefits if you use it for higher education. What else do you like about it? There's so many other pieces to it that are good. Now, I mentioned the tax, the tax benefits. Mm -hmm. The um, earnings in a 529 plan, they not only grow, they grow tax-free, not tax-deferred. Oh, that's a big that's one. Big. Also, some states will offer tax deductions that you can take a tax deduc deduction on your tax return, dep you know, depending on how much you're putting in there. Grandparents love it because they can do gifting for colleges mm -hmm. and for their grandchildren. Um, if you, you start saving for one child and you want to, they don't use the money, you can give it to somebody else or use it yourself. Okay. Um, our partner, Census College Savings, has run a, conducted a survey and they went out and found that people that have 529 plans for their college savings are more confident and feel more in control of their education savings. They also found 8 out of 10 people that have 529 plans are happy with that plan. Uh, are there limitations, Mary, to contribute to the 529? Depends on the plan. Uh, different states have different rules. Most of them, however, do offer very high amounts that can go into a, a 529 plan. Now, you need to be careful about federal and state tax or uh, gifting laws. So, but you can find that on the web and you can look that up. Some plans can go as over $300,000 for the lifetime of the 529 plan. Mary, if I start a 529 plan, let's say here in Florida for my children, and they decide to go somewhere else, can it be used out of state? That's a great question, Olga. 529 savings plans can be used in any state. Uh, so they can be used in the United States as well as abroad. Really? Yes. So you could also use them. Uh, they can be used for vocational schools. They can be community colleges, four-year colleges, universities, graduate schools. So they're, they're not as limiting as one might think. And what about financial aid? Because I know that rings a bell in a lot of people. 529 savings plans have a limited impact on financial aid. So to me, it's great information, but a lot of things have been learned here. But something I just think is imperative is no matter what you have, every little bit 
counts. Every little bit counts. And just remember, every dollar you save is a dollar you don't have to borrow. Do what you can, get a plan, and stay with it. I hope to see your kids in college with my kids very soon. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary. And of course, if you'd like more information on all of this, you can check out the website, which is Vanguard.com, or go to our website, which is TheBalancingAct.com. And don't forget, we are on Facebook and Twitter.